But now to an interesting story from mm. Queensland, where Premier Anastasia Palaszczuk has held a press conference into a damning report into domestic violence issues before reporters even had a chance to read it. The Courier Mail reports Premier gives press seconds to read 278,000 words. Queensland media have been left fuming after being given just seconds to read a 2,700, uh, sorry, 278,630 word landmark review into Queensland police responses to domestic violence ahead of a press conference. Well, the report was absolutely damning and revealed evidence of widespread mismanagement of the domestic violence crisis under Labor's watch. No wonder the Premier wanted to do the press conference before anyone had time to go through it forensically. Instead, her giant media team printed off the highlights to help direct journalists to the passages they wanted covered. But some journalists were not buying it. Ooh, we see this report. It's being tabled now, as you can appreciate. Um, there are some uh, comments throughout that report uh, that needs to be tabled through the Queensland Parliament is the advice we have received. It's being tabled. So in the next couple of minutes, the next hour? It's next hour. tabled at two o'clock. Now, that was a clear promise to answer questions at a later date. But the Courier Mail went on to report the Premier assured reporters she would be available today or tomorrow for follow ups. But in the end, it was left to Police Minister Mark Ryan, who was the only one up the next day to answer questions from reporters who had by then had the hours or so required to actually read it. Well, that's pathetic stuff. Perhaps the Premier should spend less time at gala balls and more time being accountable to the people. Sophie, final last words. Well, Jack, that's a very old tactic that's been around for a long time when a government releases a report and then has the press conference uh, right at the same time. It gives the journalists no time to prepare. There's a reason they do that. They don't want the journalists to pick up on stuff. So mm. people see through this. It's a very poor tactic and I think it's a silly decision by the Premier. And Daisy, final comment from you. Look, this is what she does. Anastasia Palaszczuk's media team worked out long ago that if you have her speak for too long in a press conference on a difficult topic, it just absolutely goes to pieces and is quite comical to watch. So they do the, these sort of dirty tactics. <laughs> she speaks for two seconds, has another press conference another day where one of her lackeys uh, takes over. In well said. Daisy Cousins, Sophie Ellsworth, thank you so much for joining me.